Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday, February 23rd here. This is a look at our futures, and we're continuing to pull back a little bit here <clears throat> in the futures. The, the Russell, the NASDAQ, all pulling back, and the, um, interesting, the Dow is just a little bit to the green side. So that's kind of what we're looking at here. Now, something we talked about yesterday uh, afternoon was this curve down. So I'm going to go, this is the futures chart, but I'm going to go over to the SPY chart here. We were talking about this, this curve down. And on the SPY, this downside candle here is confirming that three pulling back over the eight. But the area that I was talking about is the 20. Watch the 20 and see how we react. We can see that recently the 20 has been some pretty good support. Even though we spent these two days kind of fighting through it here. Um, that's the area that we're going to watch. So what do we do as traders? Do you play some short side sales or put sales? Yeah, absolutely. Um, but I would, again, with those, I would keep those two maybe a little bit smaller. But you know what? Hands off the wheel. Just do not step away. That is an excellent place to be in. Having cash in your account for when the market picks that direction, whether we could, if we hit that 20 and then continue pushing and pushing, then obviously then that's our look then, right? We're going to switch from, from playing the long side of things to the call, to the short side of things. One thing I want us all to be aware of is they've, uh, out of Washington, that they've talked about the stimulus check and that they think that they're going to have it, you know, on the House floor. Now it has more to get through than just going to the House floor, right? Um, that's the purse strings, but then it has to be approved by the Senate. So it has to get through, but I think that will give us a bump in the market, and then actually seeing that money roll out will give us a bump in the market. It is after that that I am actually um, more concerned about what is going to happen um, with the market. You know, where are some of those cracks? Um, but that, that's, what, that's what I'm looking at uh, here in at least the short term. Okay. I am in GBTC, and Bitcoin has taken a heck of a hit. Um, Elon Musk tweeted yesterday, oh, he thought it was overpriced. And then Janet Yellen came in and said <coughs> that she doesn't see that it's, uh, that we all need to be very cautious with it. I don't, I'm, I'm not saying I disagree with, um, with either one of those. But here's what I'm going to tell you. And I've, I've listened to some really intelligent people overnight and this morning talking about Bitcoin and, you know what, go into gold instead, don't do Bitcoin. I understand the sentiment behind that. Bitcoin is not tangible. You can't pick it up like you can a piece of gold, hold it in your hand or silver or whatever, and hold it in your hand and say, this is what I have to barter with. That makes it very different. But they are discounting the enthusiasm, the sentiment all built into Bitcoin. And regardless of my own opinions about Bitcoin and how much I do or don't understand about it, because I, I'll tell you, um, my understand my uh, my education on it is not near where it should be. I see something to strive for, but what I can tell you is that people they want it to work. They want something new. They want something digital. And there is a lot of people pushing into this. So this volatility that's around it. Remember, we were talking about that. This is why it's not a gold, right? Gold does not move like this. It is being a uh, the, the type of commodity it is. The precious metals won't move like Bitcoin. This is the one thing with Bitcoin that needs to get settled out before it really becomes more of a mainstream is, sadly, regulation. We all don't like regulation. Well, most of us don't. Um, but you have to have enough regulation so that when you take your Bitcoin, you know, one day you're buying a Porsche and the next day you're buying, I don't know, a Ford Fiesta. I don't you see what I'm saying. It's there's just that volatility that's built into it. All that being said, I go right back to it is true that they want uh, too many people want Bitcoin to be a thing. Can it be used for nefarious stuff? Yep, absolutely. I've heard that argument all day long. It And it is. It is used for bad stuff. But I hate to tell you, so is paper money, right? So not discounting that. I'm not discounting the um, the, the nefarious actions that go into it and, and the um, how easy it is for bad actors to use it. But it's also very easy for bad actors to use money. So 
They just have to figure that out. But Bitcoin, I don't believe is going anywhere. This dip, I am not getting scared out of it. We took a nice profit, um, or I did. I took a nice profit on a third of that GBTC. And I will look now for um, a, a chart reversal. I see some pretty... Right, coming back right down here. If it came back down here, I would add back right back again. Um, but if that doesn't happen, if it doesn't pull back to this gap and we start to push back up, um, I will look for a, a, a place to add on to that one third that I took off. Okay, so enough about Bitcoin. Let's hop over into a few charts that I do like for today. Talked about these a bit yesterday. EXPE had that big push up, pulled back in. Markets were really messy. Yesterday, I feel like they might be today. We also have um, Jay Powell speaking this morning, and we all know that that can just, you know, it just makes for more mess and confusion and volatility. So this is what we're looking for. Hold this level here right around the 157.50. Really like it, though, anything here over yesterday's close. Vaccines, right? We're getting more vaccines out. Infection rate is dropping like a rock. We're, which is really amazing, and I'm not saying that just to be over exuberant, but you know, we are we really are we are starting to drop that rate. We're starting to work on that more of that herd immunity, and people getting out and being able to get the vaccines. I know for some who haven't been able to get it, you think it's like the hardest thing in the world. I get it. My mom hasn't been able to get it. We've been trying, um, but they're getting out there. They're getting faster, and you know, they they will get this ball rolling. They're looking at. Um, the efficacy of them and maybe keep storing them at different temperatures. So all of these are good news and people are looking forward to planning um, vacations. So EXPE, like this one, BKNG, there's another one. Uh, you can look at hotels. Marriott just did beautiful yesterday. Hilton. So look at the travel side. EXPE in particular, I'm going to be watching the April 16th 160 calls. May have to push that out a little bit um, depending on how it moves today, but the 160 is where I'm sitting. And then Disney, two, twofold here. Disney has just done really well. They have really taken on um, the stay at home, right? And for the people who want to continue to stay at home or, well, it's just easier to sit at home and watch a movie. They've done a great job with their digital streaming. Their subscribers just blew everything out of the water. And then people planning their vacations again, right? Here we are coming back to Disney. And Disney is a good staple. They had really, for I mean, just weird volume for a Monday. Pushed it on up. Pushed so that three to come right back to the eight. We talked about it last week that I was watching it for a potential entry somewhere. Really missed it yesterday being away. But still like this, looking for it to continue to break now over the anything over. I would like it to pull back a little bit, but anything over, I'm going to say 190 to 191 is where I like Disney. 416, 200s on those. Those are the ones I like. And finally, BIDU. Um, you know, interesting, we had this really big run up on Friday. Yesterday, you pulled back into that candle shot pass but but ended in a pretty nice spot like BIDU anything over yesterday's close so um, that, those are just a few that I will be watching if you have any questions be sure to reach out Heather C at givingtreetrading.com or in the chat room one last note I will be out this morning for we, I have an emergency court hearing to attend and then I will be back okay so I will be back later in the day all right everyone have a fan fantastic day. I will see you soon.